Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 11 Yahweh said to Moses, Yet one more plague I will bring on Pharaoh, and on Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go. When he lets you go, he will surely thrust you out all together. Speak now in the ears of the people. Let every man ask of his neighbour, and every woman of her neighbour, jewels of silver and jewels of gold. Yahweh gave the people favour in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. Moses said, This is what Yahweh says. About midnight I will go out into the middle of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of the female servant, who is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of livestock. There shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there has not been, nor shall be any more. For against any of the children of Israel a dog won't even bark or move its tongue, against man or animal, that you may know that the Yahweh has made a distinction between the Egyptians and Israel. All these servants of yours will come down to me, and bow down themselves to me, and saying, Get out, with all the people who follow you. And after that, I will go out. He went out from Pharaoh in hot anger. Yahweh said to Moses, Pharaoh won't listen to you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh, and Yahweh hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he didn't let the children of Israel go out of his land.